this is CBK and EGN here, and uh, we're going to play Home Alone. Uh, we played this game a couple times, and it is a pretty shitty game, but it's kind of amusing at the same time. So we're going to fill you in on the experience as we play it. So uh, essentially you pick up these traps, light bulb, and it looks like the pervert jumps in right away and gets <laughs> Yeah, and that's how this game works. You you get uh, kidnapped right away. You got, you sucked in a hard day. <laughs> yeah, that was really rough. You gotta get moving real quick in this game. All right, let's try this one more time. Grab stuff. Lay down trap, and then watch this guy. Oh fuck, the other guy's coming. Give uh, this guy the proper stuff. Ooh. Okay. It's too bad. Oh fuck. Okay, I'm really sucking up this game. Oh. That's Okay, I'm, I'm going to do it good this time. Okay. This is the way these old games work. You suck at them. Alright. Unless you're playing Mario or Mario 3. Yeah, because I rock at Mario 3. Alright. Uh, drop these little traps. And try and go up these awkward stairs. It's hard going up these stairs. This game has really bad controls. But, I mean, it's a, it's a easy enough game. So what's your uh, thoughts on this game there? I'm going to try and actually focus on uh, doing good on this game. Oh, here's the train music. <laughs> Do I need to leave the house? Look out, there's a train coming! Oh god, where is it? Lay down the spider here. Oh, that would be so scary in this game. What? It's like... Every once in a while, when the train music play, there'd be like a train that would just come by and it could like murder you. So, here's a question for you. Do you remember what the actual objective of this game is? It's uh, just to survive for a certain amount of time, right? Uh, pause it. That's how much, this is where it says time left, that's how much time you have to survive for. That's so stupid, it should actually show it in the gameplay. Alright, so if we do really good, uh, we might have to do a continuation video here. <laughs> <laughs> but that is high chance, hard chance. Of There's an if in there. There's a. I'm probably gonna get butt raped by this fucking creepy uh, guy here. Cause see these stairs? That oh, work for it. me. I think you have to be in the right spot. It's so stupid. I mean, RoboCop has better stairs than this. And yeah, RoboCop is a game I played. Oh, what you gonna do, brother? Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm getting too cocky, man. Okay, let's. Oh fuck. Also, if you're really good at this game, you can moonwalk. Yeah, but you know, let's just focus on walking here. Look at me, I'm having problems here. You know what? It's just my control here. Whoa, what the fuck? Okay, I'm gonna need that probably. I do not know what the hell that guy was doing. Maybe that guy's actually trying to steal stuff? <laughs> Come on, McAllister. Ow. That, was the, that is his name, right? I don't know, I didn't watch Home Alone. You've never seen Home Alone? No, I've just, I've just played a crap game. <laughs> Uh, well, it's a little better than the game. <laughs> and that's all I'm gonna say about it. And it's played by a blonde kid. Actually by, uh, what is that guy's real name? Holy crap, I almost died there. Uh... Oh, Macaulay Culkin. Which was a huge child actor back in the day. Huge. And then he grew up and got ugly. Like most kids. <laughs> oh, fuck. oh, I don't have any fucking. Oh my god, this is. This is not good. Three, two, one, dead. Fucking <laughs> get away, get away! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, it's your okay. turn. It's your turn. Uh, prepare to do worse. Watch me do worse. Alright. Well, I didn't do too bad. That's probably a record for me. Well, no, no. I've done better. <laughs> I've definitely done better. When you put your mind to it, you can do better than Andrew. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, sh oh, my God, I got stuck. Yeah, you gotta be in the middle of the stairs to actually go up. It's mm -hmm. so dumb. Eh? I'm sure it doesn't translate well either. 
that we're using. Is it potato or soap? I said potato. That's, that's for oh your potato God. cannon. You know, the most useless fucking home weapon ever is a potato. Oh, Jesus, Jesus. There you go. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Possibly dead and all you can see. Oh, no. Yeah. Yeah, this kid is not going to be fucking found. Like, you've seen the movie, right? I mean, Joe Pesci is going to bite this kid. Oh, yeah, you haven't seen this movie. Anyway, Joe Pesci is the short, creepy guy in this game. And, uh... <laughs> and, oh, Jesus. and that's Mark. That's the other one. And uh, that's not his real name. I forget his name. He's in a bunch Mark, of stuff from the, from the 90s movies. But uh, Joe Pesci is the short one. And uh, at the end of the movie, he's actually going to bite off Kevin McAllister's fucking finger. And, well, fingers, one at a time. And then he gets hit with a shovel. Awesome. And that's yeah. the, and that's probably about the like fifth or sixth time that he's supposed to actually die because I mean these guys take some brutal brutal injuries. Well, you've seen that video right on YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> What's it called? I forget. I think it's like actual injuries of Home Alone Two. They also have Home Alone One and Home Alone Two, and I think they also have uh, uh, another video like that with Die Hard. I mean they don't go rem remotely through as many of the main characters Die Hard. As they do go through these feelings <laughs> in Home Alone and Home Alone 2, Marv dies the most in Home Alone 2. And Home Alone 2, like, uh, he gets a brick to the face at, like three times, or uh, oh, Jesus. three or four times. He dies. Oh my god, I gotta die! And in real life, he. Oh. <laughs> in, re in real life, uh, Yeah, this should have worked. You know, a brick would have killed him, you know, a couple times over. A brick to the head from how many stories up. This is my, uh, last time. Yeah. I'm doing really bad at this. Oh, you're doing good. You should just keep it going, man. Oh, I get it now. The, it's train music and his arms go, like, up and down like a train, like... No, this just... This, I don't think they planned it. This is just a really shitty game. <laughs> oh, he... Whoa, oh. can you do that? You should try and follow him. Who cares if he dies? Let's just follow Marv down. Oh my god. Okay, we learned something new about this video game. We've been everywhere. You can go into the basement too, uh, from in the house. You can use a microwave? I think that's an iron, buddy. You can just use electronics? Just because it's in the kitchen doesn't mean it's a fucking microwave. Okay, don't. Okay. You can actually reuse items, Jesus. right? Like you can pick up stuff on the bottom. Yep. Oh my god, look at him run! I know, he's pretty creepy. Oh no! no. The stranger's standing behind me. Alright. I'll give him one more try here. Oh no, he shaked me in the heart! So, uh, we're getting really close to the end of our, our game here. So, uh, what's your final thoughts on this game? That we should maybe play more of it. Yeah, we should make this a tradition. Play a shitty Home Alone game every once in a while. Or play shitty games. <laughs> okay, 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 rate it. You gotta rate it. Oh shit, I am out of freaking items. I think if you're an intense gamer, you know, you would. Oh no! You would semi enjoy this game. You know, I mean, it's so different than Burger Time, and realistically, I mean, this game, you're just evading bad guys, and you know, honestly. This has better graphics than Burger Time. I hate to say it. I mean, it's a stupid game, but uh, it's no different than like Pac-Man and every other thing. You collect, hey. you evade. You collect, you evade. Pac-Man's fucking awesome. I know Pac-Man's awesome, but you know he doesn't really translate well into the, the new generations. I don't think, anyways. Have you seen some of the new Pac-Man games, like Pac-Man Champion Edition or something like that? I'm I'm not talking his new games. I'm talking about the original game doesn't translate as well as some of the other stuff. And I don't mind. I mean, it's a good game. I, I mean, like you, you always too. love Pac-Man. What? I love Pac-Man World, too. Yeah, that's probably one of my favorite Pac-Man games, actually. Metal Pac-Man. Mind you, I haven't played too many of them. Besides I want to play Pac-Man World, too. That's the only 3D uh, Pac-Man game I've ever you played. You know what would be my, my new favorite uh, Pac-Man game? Uh, the Adventure? No. Smash Bros. With Pac-Man. Oh, yeah! <laughs> I know it's not technically Pac-Man, but whatever. Sorry about that, guys. We kind of get carried away in this, and uh, we forget what we're doing here, so... You know. I don't need to still let me. 
Yeah, okay. Why not? Okay, well, say uh, say you've been on this game. What, what, you know, what's your uh, what's your take on this game? What's your rating on this game? The poison purple mushroom. Are you gonna give it the poison purple mushroom? Oh yeah, that's, that's not too bad. That's like second best. It's not completely. See, see. Yeah, I seen the moon walk there. Yeah, that's exactly why you get poison purple mushroom. Yeah. Sleep. I'm just gonna, you know, trap the crap out of these guys here and then run for it. Uh, okay, so uh, here's my take on this game. You know, I'm gonna give it, uh, yeah, I'm gonna give it a mildly uh, impressed blue mushroom out of star. Uh, I think it's alright. I mean, this definitely would have entertained me as a kid. Uh, Maybe not as much as Mario, but it's definitely, definitely interesting. A little more stressful than Mario. That's maybe why I don't give it such a high rating. You know what? I have a feeling they're going to come down a different way and get me. There we are. Come get me, Marv. <laughs> oh, shit! Okay. Anyways, uh... <laughs> That's the end of our show, so, uh, yeah, you know, if uh, you have any comments, uh, please leave them below, and uh, good night. Come again. <laughs>